Hello everyone, it's Richard Sky and ESO here with a follow-up video on the High Owl patch from a gold making and trading perspective. Last week, a few days pre-patch drop, I showed you how I prepared economically for the patch and what you could do after the patch to make insane amounts of gold. And what can I say? I did insane amounts of gold. So let's jump right into it. Here you have a table of the Acadius uh, trade tools add-on sales and statistics from last week. Overall, companion gear went even more crazy than expected. With the two new companions, people want to equip them, and we're ready to pay a lot to do so. You can see the first sales here from last week with uh, overpriced companion gear, followed by a purple high aisle plan, um, which sold for over 3 million gold. Obviously, I didn't drop any purple plans myself, even if I tried, so I bought some and resold them higher. Overall, the market for these plans was only good uh, on the first two days though, and after they dropped a lot in price. While companion gear kept increasing, I sold a shit ton of blue gear, which uh, I bought weeks before uh, the patch, for up to 20,000 gold, uh, for up to 300,000 gold uh, now. As well, I thought that with Ember as a sorcerer companion with uh, lightning damaging abilities, um, some people might actually run um, lightning staves uh, on their companions and um, it was worth maybe around 2000 gold pre-patch and I did sell it at 300,000 uh, at the beginning. Uh, then I was uh, actually out of these lightning staves as I actually uh, underestimated the demand of them and the first uh, purple companion uh, lightning staff in uh, aggressive quality I sold for uh, around 8 million. Uh, gold after. One even sold for uh, 10 million gold as you can see here. So the maximum for a uh, blue one, um, blue aggressive lightning stuff, um, was actually a million. This one even sold for around 800,000 and this one for over a million. Uh, so the profit margin on this gear was even more insane than on other companion gear pieces. And yeah, I kept selling all the stocked up companion gear for horrendous prices and as well sold uh, quite a lot of the um, ancestral Breton um, motifs, um, which uh, as I announced drop from High Isle treasure maps. What I didn't know is that they do drop as well from the CE treasure maps um, people got via mail, which uh, brought the prices down a lot, but made it very easy to get several motifs in the first days uh, to sell at a high price. I still started to sell some uh, overpriced um, gold uh, upgrade materials, but not too much, um, as the full focus was on the companion gear. Uh, purple companion gear in the right trades um, uh, sold for several millions each too. Um, everything increased in, in price after patch. Even uh, non-perfect uh, trades uh, companion gear sold uh, quite well. So, um, for example, this. Um, let's look. Um, for example, this um, helmet and quick and trade uh, sold for over a million gold, and that's quite impressive for uh, an item which isn't in the perfect trade. So, um, as you can see in the statistics, um, I sold uh, in the end items in total worth of over 300 million gold uh, in four guilds. And I cannot tell um, how much of this is actual profit, but I do believe I did over 200 million uh, profit with these sales as I bought um, all the companion gear from Apple and an egg um, pre patch. So, people, this video is not only about boasting with my own sales, uh, it's more about to give you a learning of uh, what is actually possible in this game from a gold making perspective. If you understand the market principles of supply and demand and use the information you get from, for example, patch notes or build videos from famous players, uh, you have a chance to make a fortune um, if you invest some time and some gold in it. But yeah. I'll keep you updated with some more gold making tips soon, so thanks for watching and don't forget, if you need a top trading guild or a beginner friendly one, just join ITT's Discord uh, with link in description or message me in game.